So in our last video, we got Bootstrap set up and we included it in our main.scss file as a framework. What we're going to do now is we're going to set up the layout for our front page. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And we're going to have a very simple layout. It's going to have a header, uh, main content area, some widgets, and uh, a footer area. Go ahead and start typing this out. I'm using Emmet, it's a plugin for Sublime Text 2, and uh, I'll be using that so that I can get the code typed out faster and have a little more time to explain what it is uh, that I'm doing. Um, the first thing I'm going to set up is my header area, and it's going to have a div, the class of site logo. Uh, the header is going to have a class of site header, and the logo is not really going to be a logo, it's just going to be I guess the title of the page. And then I'll also have a navigation area. And uh, I'll go ahead and give it a class of site nav. And uh, I don't know. I'm home about context. So we'll have three three links in here, just like that. Um I'm going to go ahead and save it and we'll check it out over here. There we go. And what I want to do is introduce some mix ins. I'm going to drag this over here. I'll close these two out. I don't need them. And um, I'm going to try something different. Let's go into a split view. So the first thing I want to do is have my main uh, container area. Uh, in regular Bootstrap, you would have maybe a div with a class of container. Um, for this layout, I just want my body to have that uh, class. And actually, I'm not going to put the class there. I'm just going to sort of use a mix-in to create that container. So I'm going to start out by typing out body over here in my main.scss file. And I'm going to use our first mixin, which is the at include container dash fixed. And what this does is it makes our body tag uh, have all of the styles, style properties of a regular div with a class of container. Um, there's a little more code we need to add for the responsive stuff and to make sure that we're using I guess the uh, default bootstrap grid I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that as you can see here there's a few uh, media queries I'm gonna paste there and oh. sorry okay so um, these are the default variables for uh, different widths of screens and uh, queries. I'm going to save this. And when I refresh, uh, you'll see that we'll go ahead and inspect it. The body class now has all of the style rules that a container class would normally have. And in our CSS file, let's see. We'll scroll down to the bottom you'll see that it's uh, down here and there's no need to have that container class anymore now inside of a container if you're familiar with bootstrap you'll know that there's usually a row and it contains a bunch of columns um, and we're going to set that up but instead of adding the class of row to our header we're going to use the at include uh, make row mixin for our site header and then um, for our site logo and oops in our site nav we're gonna make columns now the columns um, 
has special mixing uh, mixing names, and they use the similar prefixes that you'd see in a standard Bootstrap, uh, I guess, package of you know the standard Bootstrap classes. Um, maybe if I just type it out, it'll make a little more sense. So when I use this mixin at include make small dash column three, what it's doing is it's telling uh it's it's outputting CSS that's gonna make the site dash logo div uh, have the same uh, style properties as a standard uh, you know default Bootstrap class name. Now, because we want to avoid uh, using that, um, we'll just use these mixins. I'm going to do the same thing for the site nav, and I'm going to make this oops nine. Uh, remember, each of these columns still have to equal up to twelve. If none of this is making sense, these prefixes, uh, why the columns have to equal to twelve, or what a row or container is. Uh, that means you probably haven't seen my other bootstrap videos which uh, go into greater detail as to, to what they are and how they fit into the uh, the whole grid thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'll switch back to my browser and hopefully, yes, um, we'll have our header laid out the way we want it to. So again, our body is a container for all of our rows and we've used the mix in make dash row uh, on our site header and we use the column mix ins on site logo and site nav to position them where we want them to be in the next video what we're going to do is continue our layout and we'll add a little more uh, CSS to make this a bit more presentable